Uh, estoy buscando. <laughs> good, good. Samuel, what's the answer? Mire, mire. En la primera es house, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, very good. Mujer tiene 69 años. Entre... Why are you Hello, translating, teacher. Josué? ¿Cómo? Porque traduce, no traduzca, se va a confundir más. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Yo ya está así. Okay, so what's the past tense? What's the past tense of eat? Past eight. Eight, very good. How do you spell that? Lester, please take notes. Okay. A-E-T. Ah, no, perdón, A-E-T. A-T-E, very good, very good. Entonces, Sería in 2013, Joy Chestnut, Chestnut. Uh -huh. of California ate 69 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Wonderful. That's what it is. That's what it is. Perfect. Perfect. I will go to another room. Continue working, please. Had eight. Uh, okay, la, la tercera oración. La pantalla compartida, ok, pero aquí en el, en el WhatsApp. En el WhatsApp, en el WhatsApp. Pues, sería la primera, okay. es a woman in Russia. Era how? Sixty. Oh. How? Ah, ok. Sixty nine children between. Uh -huh. how. How. Era how. Ok, number two. Number two is eight. 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 Mm -hmm. And the pass, and the pass, the eat. Okay. Number three is the pass, the sit, sat, sat. sat. Four. four is talk. And the yeah, four got on. Um. No, no, no. The four is remember is the univer university lecturer. Spook. 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 Yeah. Spook. Spook. Is that the Spook? pronunciation? Spook. Spoke. 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 Exactly. Oh, Very okay. good. You're welcome. Hay que poner atención. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Spoke. Eh, es con Number ED. Five. No. no. S P O K E. Okay. Are these regular or irregular verbs, Karen? Irregular. Irregulars. Very good. Recuerden que you. ayer yo les dije que solo a los regulares les poníamos D, E, D, or, or I, E, G. Right? Yeah. Very right. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. So we have one more minute and then we're done. Okay? Okay. Okay, means. Okay. Wonderful. We are all back. Okay, very good. So I want to I want to listen to some examples here. Um, let me pick people. Okay, we have five different sentences, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to pick five people. We're gonna have Clarissa, number one. Claudia. Okay. No. Eh, 
Miguel, number two. Claudia, number three. Dennis, number four. And Felix, number five. Okay, let's see. What are the answers that you have? A woman and Russia have um, 69 children between 1,725 and 1,765. Okay, very good. Now, listen to this. With the years, right, we're going to like to divide the years. Right? For example, oops, sorry. This year we're going to say it like 17. 1725. 1725. Vamos a, a partirlo en dos. Right? Instead of saying 1000, no, we're going to say 1725. Right? Okay. 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 Very good. So what, how would you say this year, Clarissa? And seventeen um, sixty-five. Seventeen sixty-five. Okay, very good. Wonderful. Let's go number two. Mario. 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 Oh. Hello. <laughs> in in twenty. 13, dry chestnut of California, um, eight, okay. 60, 69 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Okay, very good, 69 chores in 10 minutes, very good. All right, so what about number three? Who has number three? Very good, Mario. Number three? In 1982, mm -hmm. Roy got on in a tree in California for um, 400. For for my four more days. Four hundred thirty thirty one days. Okay, very good. Okay. I want you to see one thing right now. I want you to see three verbs. And we're going to see the difference. Okay. You need to pay attention to Claudia's answer. Can you see my, my computer? No, not yet. No. No, no. Yet, teacher. no teacher. What about now? Can you see Google? Yeah? Yes. 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 Okay, wonderful. I want you to see right now, oops. I want you to see right now three verbs. I want you to see this word. Sit. Look at the pictures. I want you to see this word. Look at the pictures and the other one. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. What is the difference? Yes, teacher. What is the difference here between those verbs? We have sit. What would be the meaning of sit? Like I am sitting right now. You are sitting in front of your computer, right? Look at this, sit, this is what we'll do. This is the action of sitting, right? Like these babies, like these people, right? This is sitting, right? Do we understand the meaning of sit? Yes. Yes, yes. yes sure. Okay, very good, very good. Remember the answers because we're going to go back to number, to number three. What about ride? When you have ride, Right, you can ride a bicycle, you can ride, you know, a bicycle, motorcycle. you can ride a motorcycle too, or sometimes you can also ride an animal, for example, a horse. 
right? You can also ride a horse, right? Let me see if I find a picture here. No, I, I don't have a picture with a horse, but that would be the verb, right? When we have ride, it will be a bicycle or like this, for example, right? Ride, that's when we use ride. Bicycles, motorcycles, right? Things like this. And then we have get on. Sorry, what would be the meaning of get on? Look at this, look at the pictures. Look at this, this is get on, right? So Abordar, subirse. Exactly, so you can Get on, look at this picture. You can get on a plane, get on a ship, get on a train, get on a bus, get on a bicycle, or get on a motorbike, right? That's what we have. Now, if we have this meanings, do you understand the meanings right now? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, very good. Can you see my, 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 do you see the PowerPoint? The exercise? No, no yet. Google. Google, Google, okay. Okay, now? Yes, right? Yes. Based, yes. On, based, based on the minutes that I just gave you, right? Based on these minutes, what would be the answer for number three? It says, in 1982, 83, Timothy Roy in a tree in California for 431 days. What would be the best option? Would it be get on, get on. sit, or write? Which one would be? I, I think it's sat. Sat, okay. Box. Very good. In the United States, it's very common that people protest in that way, right? They just sit in some in a place, so that's the way they make a protest. Así protestan. Cuando, por ejemplo, no quieren que corte un árbol que tiene muchísimos años, right? That's what they do, right? Okay, very good. Sat, right? Now, what about number four? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me creo que dijo Denis. Yep. Okay. Y university lecture Natasha Romanov Spock non stop about no I no sé cómo se dice Buddhism 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 mm -hmm. for one hundred ninety fifty nine hour one hundred fifty nine hours perfect one hundred fifty nine hours very good just remember that this letter when you or this verb right when we say spoke right spoke we don't say a spoke no it's like for example my name my name is sylvia right oh. so we don't say as sylvia right we say sylvia so the same thing spoke spoke right but cualquier palabra que empiece con s right oh. no no vamos a decir e right sino que like like a, like a, uh, like Threat. the animal. Threat. How do you call this animal? Uh -huh. So, for example, here we say strange. Strange. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, very good. Oh. And number five. Your who got on a stationary bicycle um, rode for more than 111 horse. 111 hours, very good. 111 hours, okay, very good. So what happened with this exercise? Was it difficult, easy, so-so? So-so. So-so. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, perfect. So let, let's remember, we're not going to go over the grammar part, porque ya vimos cómo se hacen las preguntas y las short answers, right? So let's remember. We're going to do the practice. Vamos a la práctica. We have this. It says complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Right? We have conversation one, two, three, and four. Right? Este ya se los envié ayer también al, al WhatsApp. 
right? So we have these four conversations. This exercise, it has regulars and irregular verbs, right? Disculpen los gatos de los vecinos. You have regulars and irregular verbs, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to practice right now, right? To finish the conversation and to make here a great sound. So let's go ahead and work in groups, right? We're going to practice, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to practice in pairs. So let's see. Vamos a trabajar con otras personas, okay? Let's start. Let's start, let's join the groups. Let's join the groups right now. Join your groups, very good. Please join your groups, Clarissa. Clarissa. Con otra niña y no sabía, entonces. Yes, hi. Uh, hi. Hi, Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Uh, yo lo hice más o menos, no sé si está bien. Uh -huh. Bueno, este veámoslo. Uh, ve. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great. When I went to the beach a lot. I went. I went. Yes, I, did, uh, uh -huh. I didn't go anywhere last summer. Yes, no. did, did you go anywhere last summer? Okay, yes. No, no. I didn't. I didn't. I stayed here. I got. Okay. Part time job, so I make it make some Made. Ex, extra money. Okay. Um, did you take any class last? Okay. Yes, I did. I. Mm -hmm. I, I took tennis. Let's go and I play tennis every day. Okay. Did you speak English last summer? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. But I read English book. I watch English movies. Yes, good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good, Sam very good. Samuel, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, very good. Okay. Anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got part-time job, so may I made some extra money. En, en ese verbo me confundo, en ese make, ¿cómo sería? Make, el past es M-A-D-E, uh -huh. de hacer, ah, make. Okay. Make. 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 Make, ok. Esther, you're alone. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> No, she said nada. I think it was going to be Clarissa, but, but she got disconnected. Or, Cla oh. or Carla, I think, because I sent her a message. But let's oh. see. I'm going to put you to another group, okay? Um, you're going okay. to work with... Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, I know you're going to work with Mario. Give me one moment, okay? Okay. Sí. Yo me iba a mover, mire. <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna put you in room number two. Let's go. Uh -huh. Simple pass of read. Okay, very good. Okay. No se le agrega nada, verdad, teacher? Nada. The only thing that you're going to change is the pronunciation. Right, so the pronunciation is going to be red. 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 Uh -huh. Like the color. Uh -huh, red. red. Yes, that's right. Teacher, oh. yes. Juan, vaya, cuando el verbo se conjuega y se lleva, conjuga, no sé cómo se dice, <risa> se agrega ed, por ejemplo, hay unos que no, no se le nota mucho la diferencia Ajá. de que le están agregando ed. Ajá. En este caso, nos tenemos que auxiliar del contexto. Yes, yes, but you also need to practice regular and irregular verbs. O sea, tiene que tener ya crea, ir creando sus propias listas de verbos. De los, por ejemplo, el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer de get on, eh, road y todo eso, ese ejercicio es solo de verbos irregulares. Uh -huh. Ah, ajá. En this one, it has both regular and irregulars. Vamos por pedacitos, si se fijan. Primero practicamos regulares, luego uh -huh. irregulares y ahora los estamos mezclando. Right? That's the purpose. Okay. <laughs> Very good. We're gonna be here one more minute, okay? Por donde van? Por la mitad ya. Ya terminamos. Okay, yeah. so, so let's go, let's go. Okay. Carla, welcome. Yes, teacher. Te va, ¿verdad? Thank you. You're welcome. Me estaba fallando el lente. Ah, ok, ok. Llegó a leer solo. Ay, no. Ok, so we're going to start here. I have some people. Oh, no, todavía no están todos. Let's see. Yeah. Ok, very good. I will mention some of you, right? And you're going to work with one, two, three, or four, right? So let's just start with Karen and Clarissa. You go with number one. Okay. Dennis and Fernando, you go with number two. Jorge and Manuel, you go with number three. And Lester and Mario, you go with number four. Okay, so let's just start. Okay. 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 Okay, Clarissa, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach at Love. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I did. I did stay here. I got a part time job so I made some extra money. Perfect. Number three. Did you take any class last summer? Was with number three? Manuel, me. Did you take any class last summer? Marielos. Hello. Yes. Continue. Yeah. Yes. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Did you take any class last summer? Yes, 
I did. I took tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Mariela. Let's go with the last one, number four. Me, number four. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English book and I watch English movie. Okay, perfect. So we have there a conversation. If you see, this is a conversation in, in which we combine regulars and irregular verbs, right? Do you have a question about this activity? Not teacher. No, teacher. No? Okay. Teacher. So let's no, Let's don't. go ahead and move to another exercise. It's going to be very easy. Look at this. We're going to see a little bit of was and where. So the past tense of the verb be. But first, I want you to tell me where were these people born? I have four people. I have Barack Obama, George Stephan, Albert Einstein, Usain Bolt. And they have four countries. Can you tell me the countries here, please, uh, Margarita? No, let's see, Clarissa. He will Cuba? Go in. Clarissa, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you please read the countries? Um, Barack Obama. No, just read the countries. Read the countries. Ah, okay. Cuba. Cuba. Hawaii. Okay. Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay. Jamaica. Germany. In Germany. Very good. So tell me, guys, where was Barack Obama born? Where do you think he was born? He born in Hawaii. Nasser. Okay, in Hawaii. Okay, very good. What about Gloria Stefan? In Germany? Cuba. Cuba, okay, good. What about Usain Bolt? Jamaica. Germany. Jamaica. 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 Okay, very good. It looks like. It looks like. It looks like Tripachuca. And then we go with Albert Einstein. What do you think about Germany? Germany. 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 Okay, very good. So these are the countries, right? And the places, right? And the way we're going to use this because the question is where were these people born, right? We're going to use this. For example, I say Barack Obama was born in Hawaii. 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 Very good. So what would be the answer for Gloria Stefan? Who has the answer? Gloria Stefan was, was, was born in okay. Cuba. Uh, in Cuba. Very good. Gloria Stefan was born in Cuba. Very good. What about Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was born in Germany. In Germany. Very good. And the last one? Usain Bolt was born in Jamaica. In Jamaica, okay, very good. So there we have, right, the, we're going to start here with the use of was and where, right? That's what we have with the use of was and where. I need you to look at something that is going to be very, very easy for you, okay? Ya después de todo lo que saben, this is going to be easy peasy. We have past tense of verb be. What do we have here? What do we need to pay attention to? Right. We need to pay attention to two things. Look at this. I was, 
she was, right? And then we have also, you were, we were, they were. And we have the negative form, right? This is the negative, this is the positive, and these are the questions, right? But here, right, what we need to pay attention to is, for example, if we have weren't right there, we're going to use it for the subject pronouns, I, you, we, and they, right? And if I have wasn't, what do you think I, we're going to use? Oh, sorry, he, no, sorry. What are we going to use for was? I, he, she, I, he, 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 I, she, 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 I, she, I, she, she, it. It, very good. So this is, this is like a separation you always need to make, right? This is something that you always need to remember. Este I wear es para condicionales. Todavía no, 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 no vamos a ver eso porque eso es para nivel eh, avanzado, right? But here with simple past, very, very simple past, we're going to make like a division, right? With was and where, right? So we need to pay attention that these subject pronouns are only for this mm -hmm. was, and these ones are for you, we, and they, right? Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Very good. So I'm gonna send you this to your WhatsApps, right? Give me one second. Carla says that she's having problems. Okay. Now, so we're going to share here. We're going to do a small exercise. No, well, let me see here. If we have here, for example, can you see my computer? Yes? Yes. 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 We know that the past tense of mm. be is to talk about the past, right? So we have the most common information. I have affirmative, negatives, and questions, mm. right? In the affirmatives, right, I have an example. It says, he was happy yesterday, right? So in the negative, what would be the compliment? He wasn't happy yesterday. And in the question, how would you write the question there? How would you make the question? At first, the verb to be in past. Uh -huh. Next, the subject. Uh-huh. And next, the question mark, the complement and question mark. Okay, very good. And based on these sentences, well, what would you have? Was he? Was he happy yesterday? Was he happy yesterday? Very good. Was he happy yesterday? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. And what would be another example? Remember here, usually after the verb be, what we have is a noun, for example, that we can say, uh, she was a teacher, he was a doctor, or we can have adjectives, right? I was angry, right? Or I was happy, right? So we can have different, different information there, but subject, verb be, plus complement. That's what we need to have. Based on that, what can we have here? They were? What can I say here? How can I create a sentence? They were busy. They were busy. Okay, very good. So negative information, they weren't busy. And the question, were they busy? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Very simple. This structure is very, very simple. Right, the one that we're going to use then we're going to practice right now with this exercise. Look at this. Oh no. Let's do this one first. We're gonna do this one first. I need you to look at this. It's Melissa is talking about her family. Choose the correct verb forms and then compare with a partner. 
right? The first one is, oh, the first one says, my family and I were all born in yeah. South Korea. Then it says, we, what would be the answer here, Clarissa? Gordon. Gordon. Mm -hmm. Gordon. We were, we were in what? We were, in, we were born in the U.S. In the U.S. Okay, we were born in the U.S. Very good. Let's continue with the next sentence. Here, Felix. Okay. Born in U.S.A. I, I, I was. I was. Born in the city of in, in, in Xi'an. Xi'an. In Xi'an. In Very Xi'an. good. Very good. And my brother. And this this wow. way. And my brother. Continue there, Dennis. Mm, and my brother was born there. Two. Two. Um. Ah. Two. <laughs> born there good. too. And my brother was born there too. Let's continue here. Uh, Mario, my parents. My parents were, weren't born in, in, in Chiu. In Chian, very good. Samuel, they. They, they was. Were. Okay. Were. They were. They were, were they were born, they were born in the capital Seoul. In okay, South Korea. Seoul. Okay, in the capital Seoul. Okay, very good. Let's continue there with Carla. Oh no, Carla, she left. Uh, let's see, Jorge. In South Korea. In South Korea, my father was a businessman. And my mother was a teacher. Okay, very good, very good. You see, this is these exercises are very, very easy to complete, right? very easy. So what we're going to do is that right now, we're going to practice with the other exercise that I show you, right? Very, oh, we only have a minute. So let's see. We're going to do a very quick practice to finish this exercise. You have it there, right? We're going to make small groups for two minutes, right, to see if we can get the answers. We're gonna work with the same people. Okay. All right. Okay, there we are. Let's go, let's get to work, right? And we're gonna work like that, right? We're gonna work for two, three minutes and we're going to finish the exercise that I sent you. Let's see, let's see. Let's go, Claudia, Dennis, Lester, Michelle. Esther Samuel, please go. Go to the groups. Okay. Le cayó la invitación, Samuel. In US, Luis. No, I wasn't. I was born in the Car Car Caribbean. Caribbean. Oh, where's your born? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Continue. Okay. Oh, where you born in Cuba? Cuba. No, I am from the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, very good. 
What about Josué, Manuel? Josué and Manuel, are you helping uh, Michelle? Melissa, this uh, really. What city were you born? And uh, mm, next. Oh, where yeah. you born in Cuba? Was born in Santo Domingo. I was born in Santo Domingo. Mm -hmm. Yo okay. creo que ahí es <laughs> Cuba. I was born. No, no, no. Oh, es que le pregunta. Eh, oh, eh, la ciencia estuvo en Cuba. Entonces, él eh, le puede decir, no. I wasn't. O, oh, yes. Pero aquí la única yes, oh, sí, afirmativa tal cual que yo veo es yes, they were. Y es en ellos. Exacto. Eso sería. Uh -huh. ah. yeah, I was born in Santo Domingo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, y pero mira ahí en o, o podría ser no I wasn't I love it no <laughs> no uh -huh. I was born in Santo Domingo no I am from the Dominican Dominican Republic Dominican Republic Dominican Republic ah esa <laughs> no okay, okay. I'm from um, Dominican. Okay. Yeah. La siguiente sería. Really? really? What city were you born in? Ajá. Entonces ahí le dice. I was, I was born, born in Santo in Domingo. Santo Domingo. Ajá. <laughs> Estamos encontrando el hilito de la. Exactly. Del <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. That will let you go for a moment, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Word. Lo hemos puesto anteriormente. La respuesta de la segunda es la la sexta, la que dice no, I'm from the Dominican yeah. Republic. Uh -huh. sí. That is correct. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, what city were you born in? Ahí sí sería la cuarta. I was born in Santo Domingo. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. Were your parents born in Santo Domingo too? Uh -huh. Sería yes, they were. Where we're, we were uh, born here. There. Yeah. We were there. all born there. Very good. Okay, sería I come, creo que es la tercera. I come here to study English. Mm -hmm. I okay, very good. I came here to study English. You are on fire, people. Very good. Uh, when did you move here? La respuesta creo que es la siete. I moved here in... in uh, I moved here in... In uh, 2007. 2007. Seven, exactly. 2007. Or 20... 2007. 2007. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, but people say 2001, 2002, but then in 2009, they stop. And it's 2010, 2011, 2012. It's weird. Hasta el 2009, dicen así, luego a otra vez. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. okay, did you finish? Almost? Um, so, so when did you move here? Uh, I moved here in 2007. Uh -huh. Okay. Really, how, how hard were you then? Uh, 
I was sixteen. I was sixteen. Was sixteen. Okay, so we only have like a couple of minutes, like two minutes more to finish this activity, right? So we're going I, to finish. I didn't finish. You didn't finish, Dennis. Mm, but you're going to finish right now, don't worry. <laughs> we're going to finish right now. I need two volunteers. Me, teacher. Me. Ana Marielos and Dennis, okay. Let's see. Marielos, you will be Melissa. Jenny, okay. you will be Luis. Okay. Right, so let, let's see the answers. The other ones, let's pay attention right now. Okay. Were you born here in the USA, Luis? No. I am from. Mm -hmm. No. No, I, I wasn't. Was, no, I wasn't. I was born in, in the Caribbean. Oh, where? You born in Cuba? No, I am from Dominican Republic. Really? What city were you born in? I was born in Santo Domingo. Were your parents born in Santo Domingo too? Yes, they were. We were we were all born there. And why did you come to USA? I can hear, I can hear to study English. So when did you move here? Hi. I moved here in 2007. Really? How old were you then? I was 16. Okay. <laughs> what did it scary? Was it scary? Was it scary? No, it was. Uh -huh. No, 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 it wasn't. I love it. I love it. Okay, very good. Very good. So if you see, guys, uh, one thing that we need to remember every time, porque tengo un minutito, siempre que, est que estén trabajando hay que hacer las cosas desde lo más simple hasta lo más complicado. Así como hemos ido viniendo trabajando los, uh, el simple past, por ejemplo. We learned the structures, then we practice with one type of verse, regulars, then irregulars, then we put everything together, and now we, you are creating conversations. Right? So, because with the conversations, you need to think. ¿Qué va después? ¿Qué, va? ¿Qué tiene más lógica para hablar? Esa lógica solo la pueden adquirir con la práctica que han hecho hasta hoy. Okay? That's what we need to do. So, uh, do you have a question about today's class? Any questions? No, teacher. No? No, teacher. No. Okay. no teacher. Okay. So, in this case, we're going to stop here. Don't forget to finish the platform, please. Finish that, you have until Sunday. Tienen hasta el domingo para terminar todo lo que tiene que ver con la plataforma. Para, perdón, para que puedan recibir el diploma que les mostré al inicio, ¿verdad? Que ya lo tienen varios, como Marielos, por ejemplo, que ya lo tiene. Y otros compañeros también que, que ya lo tienen. Eso ya les puede servir a ustedes para irlos adjuntando a sus currículos. Entonces, vamos a terminar acá. El, lo que falta de la, de la sección 5 solo es más práctica del was and where. Right? That's what you need to do. Okay? So it's been a pleasure, guys. Have a beautiful night. Thank nice you, to meet you. Thank you, teacher. Nice teacher. to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Qué rápido pasa toda la clase. Sí. No gusta una hora.
<risa> no a las 30 horas, demasiado fast, fast. Sí, pasa súper, súper rápido. Lo que aprendí es easy peasy. Easy peasy. Good. Very good. Okay. Bye bye. Take care.